Okay. Hello, everybody. Um, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Evelina, uh, and I run a creative platform in the city of Kolnes in Lithuania. Uh, it's not that far from here. Uh, and the project is called Shalini Project, uh, and it's in one of the biggest districts in Kolnes. Uh, this is how it looks like. Uh, the, there's around 50,000 people living there, um, but we have no culture center and library being the only non-commercial space where uh, we could, residents could meet. Um, yes, I grew up in this place and I see it, it's very personal for me. Um, and as an artist, I'm inspired by it. Uh, these are some of the images that I took over the years. Um, and I found that there's also a lot of creative people living in this neighborhood. Um, so decided to set up uh, the project and try to find these people, activate them, and um, try to do something together with them. Uh, so the project runs five different areas, um, and these are uh, some of them mentioned. So talks, discussions, um, events in unconver unconventional open spaces, um, artist residency, uh, workshops in schools with children 11 to uh, 17, uh, with photography and contemporary art, um, and also collection of oral and visual histories, uh, photo photos, letters, stories, etc. Um, the site is only 31 years old, uh, and but I found that there's no, nobody really collecting those stories from the area. Um, so, yeah, I took it up myself to, to start doing that. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, two, uh, two of these things that we do. Um, I talked a lot, um, there's a lot of creative people in Shalini and coolness in general, um, and this area with so many people living there and um, it's from one perspective could be said it's very grey and nothing happens there and really create, uh, creatively and culturally really nothing did happen for a very long time. Um, but I found all of these amazing people um, and we went on walks and we made some amazing photographs and we shared some stories that were so inspiring. Um, so, um, I'm going to talk about first thing is artist residency. Um, as I'm an artist, and I was very curious what other artists from different parts of the world would find and see um, in Cellini. Um, so, last year, I invited um, creatives from UK, Japan, Australia, um, different, uh, working in different disciplines to come and live um, with the people in Shalini. So that was very important, that they would experience everyday life and slightly interrupt it. Um, interrupt the, because they live in this apartments with regular family um, and because their studio is open space um, in the area. And these are artists called Lake Twins, and they walked a lot in the neighborhood, and they uh, worked in drawing, um, and they found um, repetitive patterns, and generally the um, geometric shapes were inspiring. And always, after, in the end of the residency, the artist would stay for a week or two. That's not a very long period of time. Uh, we would organize these talks at the local library uh, with anybody who wants to come and meet the artists that have been around for this period of time and, and talk in a very informal way of what they found. Um, how, was it, how was it for them? What did they find? Uh, what did they do? Um, and have these also look at the work, uh, look at the work that they made. Um, and yeah, for me, that was these sort of moments were really uh, inspiring and special 
because some unexpected conversations happen and I found that at the very start I underestimated the audience so much. Um, for example, there was one artist, Brooke Carlson, who came from Australia and her practice is performance. And she did um, a very abstract piece just by the road. Um, she found a couple of bricks in the, uh, in the neighborhood. Um, she saw this house, this old house that was being demolished and she found it very theatrical. You could see the wallpaper there. Um, and she, um, she basically came to the side of the road on the pavement. Uh, it was a very, very hot summer's day. Um, and she was kneeling down and um, literally rubbing that brick and trying to uh, to the pavement and trying to uh, complete, make it completely disappear. So at the end she was completely exhausted. Um, she did it until she couldn't physically do it anymore. Um, and there was a pile of dust um, collected um, by the side. Um, and it was so hot, her feet she was bare feet um, and her feet left um, prints of sweat uh, on the ground. And I thought, okay, this is, this is not going to go very well. Um, now everybody's going to go home and uh, thank you very much. But um, just in case, I said, hey, everybody, if you'd like to, um, to talk more to the artists, um, we still have some tea in the library and some biscuits, and we can go back and, and talk about what, we, what just happened. Um, and all of the people that were there, and even more of the people who just passing by, we all collected back to the library, and we had this beautiful one-hour conversation of every single person uh, that was there really um, expressing and interpreting the, what they just saw. Um, so that, that was really, really special for me. Um, what else? And then we start explore the public spaces um, much more. Um, we found a lot of poets um, living in the area that didn't really know each other that, hey, there's another person who writes uh, living, living next door. So uh, we started walking through those poets' yards and reading poetry in public spaces, uh, also exploring um, areas like the forts um, that are next to, um, next to Shalini and activating these spaces that they had just abandoned for 100 years. Um, and looking for, again, other alternative spaces like um, the basements of the houses and really trying to look into the structures um, and see how can we use them to show creativity and come together as um, as community. Uh, more information can be found on the uh, on two websites that I run, uh, one with oral histories, the photography part and the project uh, more to do with the um, with the residencies and international artists. Um, what is going to happening now and um, what, what next is that um, I'm really, really pleased that more people are coming together and we're, um, we're sort of exploring different things in the neighborhood. Um, and also, uh, I have to mention this, as I think that's important. Uh, Kolnas won the bid to be Capital of Culture 2022 and one of the programs um, in the bid um, that is going to happen um, is creative hubs in every single part of the city um, and I hope to be involved in trying to find these people who are already there um, and really enable them to be creative and to do some some crazy things in their neighborhood. Thank you very much. I'll take Thank your you. questions if you have any.